White Call La Jolla resident Tony Lovett, a pioneer in volleyball play-by-play -play announcing. But now Tony's lending his voice to an entirely different topic, coping with the loss of a pet. Tony Lovett says his ambition back in the 1970s was to be a baseball announcer. Instead, he became a play-by-play -play voice in the International Volleyball Association. I thought, well, what do you say? You know, it's over, it's back, it's over, it's back. I mean, how do you describe play-by-play -play of volleyball? But evidently, he figured it out because it led to bigger and better things. Late well, Scotty Connell hired me to do the first uh, broadcast of volleyball on ESPN. And he says, I heard you're the best uh, volleyball play-by-play -play announcer in the country. And I said, well, I may be the only volleyball play-by-play -play announcer in the country. Fast forward now 45 years, and Tony's still a big volleyball fan, but now he's an author, thanks to a cat named Mina. Mina uh, really grew on me uh, over the seven year period uh, that she was with me. Me, me, the kitten said in the tiniest voice anyone could imagine. Do you want kitty food? Meow. Still uh, tugs at the heartstrings. Sadly, Tony had to euthanize Mina back in 2018, but it was a card he received from the veterinarian clinic that inspired him to write the book, Five Trees for Mina. They had made a donation to the Arbor Day Foundation and that uh, five trees had been planted in the Chippewa National Forest in Minnesota in, uh, uh, as a living tribute to the cat. was the mama cat and her six kittens. The vet declared Mina an animal medical marvel. It's a children's book geared towards helping families cope with the grief of pet loss. My hope is that it soothes the, the pain of a, uh, the loss of a pet, but also encourages families to uh, have trees planted as living tributes uh, to their own pets. Steve Smith, ABC 10 News.